My uh, first painting, uh, where I uh, felt I had moved into a, an area for myself that was uh, completely my, me, I painted in, uh, on my birthday birthday uh, in 1948. And it's, uh, you know, it's a small red painting, and I put a piece of tape in the middle, and I put my so-called zip, people which I prefer to call it, actually, it's, it's not a stripe. Now, the thing I would like to say about that is that I did not decide either in 48 or in 47 or in 46 or whatever it was to say to myself, I'm going to paint stripes. I did not take an arbitrary abstract decision. I suppose I thought of them as streaks of light. When I painted this painting, which I called One Minute, I stayed with that painting for about eight, nine months, wondering to myself, what had I done? What was it? And I realized that up until then, whenever I used uh, that attitude, I was filling the canvas in order to make that thing very, very viable. And suddenly, in this particular painting one month, I realized that um, I had filled the surface. It was full. In that painting, I got rid of atmosphere. That stroke made the thing come to life. Uh, I feel that my uh, zip does not divide my painting. I feel it does the exact opposite. It does not cut the format in half or in whatever parts. That it unites the thing. It creates a totality. That is, you, get, you see it, you look at it, and you see it. And uh, if you don't, uh, there's nothing to walk into. It's not in a window leading you into a situation where you walk through uh, some uh, uh, either interior or exterior world from which you then come to a conclusion. The beginning and the end are there at once. Otherwise, uh, a painter is a kind of choreographer of space. He creates kind of a dance of elements, of forms. And it becomes a, you might say, uh, either a tactile art or it becomes a narrative art instead of a visual art. When you see a person, you have an immediate impact. You don't have to really uh, start looking at details. You, your first reaction you see when you meet a person for the first time is uh, immediate. And it's a total reaction in which the entire personality of a person and your own personality make contact. And to my mind, that's almost a metaphysical event. If you have to start examining the eyelashes and all that sort of thing, it becomes a cosmetic situation in which uh, <laughs> uh, you remove yourself from the uh, experience. There's more to the problem, it seems to me, than any, any old-fashioned idea of what an easel painting is. A painting can be bigger than anything that can go on an easel and still be, in my opinion, an easel painting. And in the end, in the end, size doesn't count. Whether the easel painting is small or big is not the issue. Size doesn't count. It's scale that counts. It's human scale that counts. And the only way you can achieve human scale is by the content.